Hey, good morning and welcome to Life Online. Uh, re recently, while spending time away with uh, friends in their area, the malls were open. I don't think I bought, purchased any um, new clothes in a long, long time. And it's about time to get a uh, different shirt or two. So uh, sure enough, department stores open, no crowding whatsoever. And of course me, I head immediately to the discount route uh, racks. 65% uh, off original price, which sounds really great, but then they're taking another 30% off. So uh, anyway, how, how awesome is that? Needless to say, I pulled off uh, seven shirts off of the rack, uh, a couple pair of slacks, and uh, I came away a very happy camper with all the money that I had saved. Uh, before I ever went shopping, Esther reminded me, Hey, we're trying to downsize on some things. Whatever shirts you purchase, yeah, yeah take, take them off uh, out, out of your closet. Uh, so sure enough, went through clothes and uh, off went actually a dozen uh, shirts to, to Goodwill. It was more than time to go ahead and do that. It's a great word picture. Uh, in fact, that's the image that the Apostle Paul uses when he uh, speaks to the church at Ephesus. Uh, they're real people and uh, just in Bible times, but uh, same applies to today. He speaks with them and he says, listen, you have lived in the futility of your thinking. You've been darkened in your understanding, separated from God. And as a result, you have lost all spiritual sensitivity. And because of that, this is what you used to be like. You gave yourself over. You lived for, uh, in, to, to indulge in um, just what was now temporary pleasures sensuality, impurity, and he also mentions greed. And then he says, but I didn't teach you to live like that. Instead, I taught you with good news that says that there's a different way of life. And so these are the words that he uses. Ephesians chapter 4, uh, these are verses 22 through 24. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self. It's like, taking the stuff off. Um, this is the old stuff, and it's not just uh, dated or worn. It's like, no, this is soiled by the ways of the world. It's infectious to who you are as a follower of Jesus. So it's being corrupted by its deceitful desires. You take that off, and then he says this in verses 23 and 24. To be made new in the attitude of your minds and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. So what a great call. I've got a new nature for you. I've got new behaviors. I've got new ways of thinking for you. So put those on today. So uh, as you begin your day, question is, is there anything that uh, you've kept on the shelf? It just needs to be gone. You need to know, just not just give it away. You need to go ahead and just uh, throw it where it belongs in the garbage. Let that be the old way. Let that just be a testimony. This is what I used to be. And grab onto the new testimony, the new story that God has for your life. Put on that new self. It has to do with righteousness and holiness. Uh, live like that today. I guarantee you'll come out of your day. You'll be a whole lot happier. Have an awesome day. God bless.